So we're going to do a landscape drawing and hopefully you grabbed a fresh pack of crayons because we're going to definitely want a lot of the colors. Um, we have been talking about the elements of art, which we will all year, line, shape, color, texture, value, space, and form. And we started working with space last week when we worked with those three pumpkins. We talked about overlap. We talked about different grounds. So mid-ground, middle, foreground, close, background, far away. What is closest to you appears large. Mid-ground, kind of in the middle. Background, itty bitty. So we're gonna use ground and we're going to use color and we're going to use line and we're going to use shapes as we create a landscape. Now don't feel like you have to make the landscape just like mine. I'm gonna put a road in. It could just as easily be water. It could just as easily be a path and you can do the same. You can make it a road or you can make your own. I'm also gonna put in a sunset because I like lots of color and we have lots of color if you got grab those 24 packs of crayon. Um, but you don't have to make it a sunset. You can make it nighttime, drawing little circles for the stars and then color in the sky dark. Uh, you could have a transition from blue to black or just have the whole shebang black. You can also just make it a blue sky and add clouds or not, you're the artist. So we are going to need crayons, paper. I used a Sharpie, absolutely not necessary, but I would recommend doing this first in pencil. And let's get started. High five. Thank you. 